net. You, End the point. You are a servant volleyer. You love that grass. <laughs> well, we are about ready to go right here as Agassiz takes some warm-up serves. A closer look at Andre. Now, in the best shape of his life. 32 years old. I should say 32 years young, really. He'll be 33 on the 29th of April, yeah. just a couple days away. Powerfully built. Las Vegas' most famous citizen. And uh, no, nothing against Wayne Newton, but I really think Andre Agassi is the man now. He does so many great things for that city, so many great things in tennis. And you can see he's only wow. surrendered, I guess, geez, it's only nine games. I thought it was ten. Amazing. He has really put it together against some of uh, the young European players. Is it ten, two, four, eight, nine? That's yeah, still go. a good week no matter how you add it up for Andre Agassi. He's well-rested, and uh, he is ready to go. He's fresh. Agassi in the best shape of his career. He takes on 20-year-old Andy Roddick, 6 feet 2, 190 pounds, and Roddick certainly looks awfully fit to me. I saw him in there shooting hoops right before this match started. Yeah, he, he's really feeling good being here in Houston, and again, so confident on this particular court. A good start to the year, and here he is just 20 years old and already six in the world. He has so much tennis ahead of him. As Roddick warms up that huge serve, we will see if it's effective today. It certainly has been throughout the week. A couple of easy matches at the start, not really easy against Paul Goldstein, the former Stanford All-American. And then those last two, pretty tight. Yeah, Melageni, a very experienced clay quarter. That was his toughest match. And then in the semifinals, Olivier Moutis, the Frenchman. And uh, one bad set from Roddick oh. in that semi, but he got stronger as the match went on. And I think that's why I say he's willing to accept the physical challenge. He is very fit and looking strong. And talk about looking fit. <laughs> well, he was here last year. There you see the former president of the United States, George Bush, with his very solid wife. Barbara Bush, looking beautiful as ever. I think they're both pretty big tennis fans. Yeah, I think oh. they were here early. Well, I know that Bjorn Borg was a great friend of his, and Bjorn and some other players would often go to the White House and play tennis on the White House court with George Bush Sr. Look at this surface. It's the red clay imported, incidentally, by Jim McInvale, the promoter and owner of this great facility, right from Paris, France. It is the identical surface that's used at the French Championships. Prize money of 380000 The defending champion going for his third title, Andy Roddick, who gets a big hand as he steps up to serve in the first game of the first set. We are ready to roll. Best of three for the title. Which on both ends of the court and both players now making sure okay. that their vision is good from behind the court. Oh, and it's a let. Called a let. There's an automatic net caller on top of that net down there. No net court judge. It's done electronically. Right, right back with another big serve. 50. Our umpire, Norm Christ, one of the most consistent and experienced umpires on the tour. Oh. It's going to go long. 15 all. It's really going to be fun to watch the return of serve by Agassi. The best in the business against maybe the best server. That's a matchup that Roddick is going to have to find a way to win. That court. Oh, and Agassi gets the break. The ball just dies as it hits that net. Now this is a large slice of luck for the world's number one. Andre's saying to himself, hey, everything seems to be going my way. Not that time. Right down the center, 132 miles per hour, ace number two. You know, and that's the kind of tennis Roddick's going to have to deliver today. Yeah. He's going to have to serve well when he's in trouble. Too good. Roddick unloads on that forehand. Number three for Andy Roddick, a big start for the 20-year-old defending champion. Three service aces that lasted 131 miles per hour. Yeah, and, and that's a good confidence start. And, and you can see this shows you just how much tennis Roddick has played here this week. 
look at the time he has spent on the court, almost twice as much as Agassi, and also four hours of doubles. He lost in the doubles semifinals with his partner, Marty Fish. So he has invested a lot of time and energy on this court. Will he have enough left to get by here in the final? Mark Knowles, Nestor winning the doubles just before we got underway out here today. They decided to play the doubles championship before the singles, and a huge crowd turned out for it. Going for it all in that first return. 15, love. That's a fault. Turn from Roddick, catches Agassi. And I was down on the court before the match, and uh, there's a bit of wind here today. There is a breeze, which is some relief in this oppressive heat. But conditions will be tricky as a result. We didn't have that much wind yesterday. Certainly more today. over the baseline and gets an error from Agassi and Roddick now with an early opportunity, 15-30. And that's the kind of length I think Roddick needs on his ground strokes. There's Darren Cahill on the right, Andre Agassi's coach. Former great Australian player. See, that's what's gonna happen when Agassi can step up and play a short ball on the rise. Roddick is gonna be doing a lot of running. And there is Roddick's corner, Tariq Benabilis. Very solid player in his own right back. Played the tour in the 80s. Frenchman. Ooh, just over that service line. Agassi, who came into yesterday's semi with 27 consecutive service holds. He had not been broken, only got broken once. That's long. I think that's an, maybe an overlooked fact of Agassi's game leap that his serve and the way he holds it on any surface is very, very strong. Yeah, that, that's something he's really improved upon in the last couple of years. That's why he's getting the results he's having. Because he always has had the great service return. Oh. And a fall. Let's see. Big second serve down the middle. Kind of surprised Roddick, but Andy got over there quickly. It's Deuce. Hey. 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 Bit of a bad bounce on a high ball to his backhand, and now Andre with a chance to hold. He regained the number one ranking in the world. And he became the oldest player ever with that title. But guess what? Back in 1983, Connors was right there. Yeah, that was uh, certainly some special moments for all these players late in their careers to be the best at their sport. Oh. What a moment it was last night. The crowd oh. just bathing him in glory. It was really a f wonderful moment, really something to be treasured. Open court, there is that big forehand. Well, you know, I really see Roddick's game growing in so many ways. He set this forehand up with his backhand. And again, he can generate pace even when it's above his shoulder. Let's serve down the middle, 124 miles per hour. 30 love. Hit. A good change of pace from Roddick. He's mixing that serve up well. Yeah, this is truly a heavyweight battle, isn't it? Andy <laughs> Roddick is stepping up to serve. You know he's going to deliver some heat. Oh. A 
good example there what Agassi can do with that high bouncing serve. He doesn't let it get up high. He takes it so early, hits it before it gets up too high. So strong, this man. and Roddick holds in the third game of the first set. Stay with us. We're in Houston at the Westside Tennis Club. 2-1 Andy Roddick, first set. Two games to one here in Houston as Andy Roddick has held both times on his own serve, going for his third U.S. clay court title. Agassi to serve now, fourth game, first set. Shaky start. Impressive start to the year. But today he's well, missing he, a couple of ground strokes here and there. That was his seventh unforced error. Leave to no winners, and Roddick's already had five winners and only seven unforced. So stats are on Roddick's side at the moment. Nice little drop volley from Agassiz. I'll tell you, when he comes in, he rarely misses. He picks his moments. Now look at where he's standing. I mean, he's inside the baseline, so it's not that long a trip to the net. <laughs> I mean, 15 on. Oh. They're taking a big chance on that second serve return. You know what? I think it's a good chance. You know, he's yep. got time on that shot. He's getting a feel for what he can do with that particular play. You've seen him go down the line. That time he played the off back end. And it may be the best time in the point <laughs> where he has a little advantage on the second serve return. Oh. Well, that might be evidence of those swirling winds. Roddick just did not look comfortable playing that ball. Only a half step away. Tricky conditions out there today. Yeah, went a little swirly. And Agassi holds. We are at two games all. First set. The Best Damn Sports Show period presents the 24th Annual Sports Emmy Awards. Join host Joe Buff with special appearances by Michael Strahan, Hall of Famer's Dr. J, Don Shula, and many more. The 24th Annual Sports Emmy Awards tonight, following tennis on the East Coast and everywhere else at 6 p.m. local on Fox Sports Net. Times in this kind of wind, Agassi hits the ball with power and pace so he can literally hit through the wind. I think he's still finding his range. Look out. Because he'll get it. And he does. He just lifts that ball up the line. A very dangerous shot against Agassi. Yeah, it was a great tactic from Roddick. I mean, he's got a fairly easy shot here. But he just misplays it. Certainly a good chance to win the point. So he'll learn from that. Roddick down the center, ace number four, 131 miles per hour. He's going to need plenty of those today. Ooh, dropped in. Good. And that is unbelievable tennis from Agassi. Great defense, Lee. He scrambled. Well, this is why Agassi is so great. He's put in the work off court, and it shows on how he moves when he's on court. Let me add to that the many facets of his game. And here's the top spin lob, brushing up quickly up the back of the ball. Second serve now, big points here. Fifth game. 
Wow. Paddock with a second serve that just bounds away. Enjoying the action. It's Deuce. Ace number five, 134 miles per hour. Roddick up the center. Well, you can see it. Roddick has grown in stature and he's just stronger looking. All the work he has put in off court really paying off too. Number six, Roddick on a roll. Stay with us. We're in Houston. Welcome back to Houston, Texas. The West Side Tennis Club, site of this year's event. And certainly one of the highlights is this place. This is the Player Lounge, which also has for many years been the Rockets, the Houston Rockets NBA basketball practice facility. But during the tournament, players are here, media here. It's a tremendous place just to relax. And right before this match, I happened to walk in there and caught Andy Roddick throwing up some hoops. He's a pretty good long shot. He'd be a three-pointer for sure. Yeah, his, his brothers are here, John and Lawrence as well. And those guys are all good athletes. So they were shooting baskets, playing ping pong. It's the Roddick family here this week, and they've been a great support team for him. See 15 love. That will go long. Well, Jim McIntyre, who's the entrepreneur, founder, owner of this great facility, who we talked to yesterday, Lee said, heck, he built that facility in three months, and he's going to build a brand new stadium right here for the Masters Cup in November, which is coming here to this club. Should be a tremendous event. The top eight players in the world will be here in November. And Agassi now. Quickly to 40 love. We're in Houston, Texas at the West Side Tennis Club, bringing you the championship match of the U.S. men's clay courts. Andre Agassi, the number one player in the world, going against on against Andy Roddick, I should say. I'm very McKay with Leif Shires bringing you the action. So I guess he just missed it over the baseline. It's four, two, three, first set. Roddick up, but no service breaks. And Agassi holds. We are at three games all, first set. Here's a look at the ATP Champions race, the points accumulated by all the players. Andre Agassi on top with his Australian Open win. Andy Roddick down at sixth place. But plenty of fine players. Carlos Moya winning in Barcelona recently. And Rainer Schuttler, Australian Open finalist, the top three. So that is going to be a heated affair that runs all the way through the end of the year. like that so short yeah when you play Andre Agassi the court down on his end starts looking pretty small you know because you're doing most of the running and he seems to be hitting into an ocean so you're doing all the work well he opens the court up so much with that big short angle Let's see if he can keep it up Very impressive exchange off the backhand because Agassi did a good job getting that first serve back. You can see Roddick protecting his serve so well, but look at who's right behind him. The A train. It's going to go long with another big serve. Well, it was not an ace. It brought the air. 30 15. 
that's another deceptive thing about a big server. He might have 10 aces, but he's probably got another 10 points where he wins it easily. Oh, just wide. We're having a look over at Norm Christ. He's on the edge of his seat, and he'll get down now. And check this call. Very close on that sideline. Yeah, he verifies it. And you can see that the ball leaves an impression, and that is evidence of where the ball's landed. In tennis, on a clay court, you can go inspect that mark. Can't do it on a hard court, however. Stays alive here in the seventh game. It's so much fun to watch Agassi because he, he builds such a good foundation with his legs. You know, a lot of the work he does off court, he concentrates on his legs. He doesn't get up in the air like a lot of guys. He instead likes to be on the ground using that upper body torque. Very solid player. Big second serve on a huge point. Serves his first double of the match. We talk about the work that Roddick and Agassi both do. Agassi, when he first started with working at Gil Reyes, he was benching 135 pounds. Now Agassi's throwing up 325 pounds. Yeah. Close to what you do, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I weigh. <laughs> but I mean, Agassi is easily the most powerful man in tennis. I mean, he is just a rock. Case number seven for Roddick. Andre has yet to get on the board there. And a miss hit off the two-hander. And Andy Roddick holds in a big hand for the defending champion. Stay with us. We're in Houston. U.S. men's play courts. Nick Van Exel was determined to prove he was one of the NBA's best. But his legendary temper threatened to end his career. I pay for it. I'll probably still plan for that right now. Beyond the Glory, tonight at 8 on Fox Sports Net. The Stanley Cup playoffs. All even, the Ducks' magical cup run continues. But the stars are still the team to beat in the West. Game 3, tomorrow at 8.30 on Fox Sports Net. The greatest earthbound adventure ever documented on television as OLN presents Global Extremes Mount Everest, a five month journey through Earth's most extreme and exotic locales, culminating in a historic live broadcast from Mount Everest. Watch it on OLN and Time Warner Cable, then go online with Roadrunner High Speed Online and get a total Global Extremes experience with updates, overviews, athlete bios, and more. Get the speed you need for OLNTV.com. Log on today. Attention Chevy buyers, get 0% financing for five full years or $3,000 cash back on all Chevy models. That's right, DeMontron Chevrolet on the Gulf Freeway is selling Chevrolets with $3,000 cash back. And they're financing Chevrolets with 0% financing for five years. Or if you prefer Suburbans and Tahoes, your choice, $11,000 off MSRP at DeMontron Chevy. And extended cab Silverados are just $14,995. Hurry to DeMontron Chevrolet on the Gulf Freeway, across from Gulf Greyhound Park. Chevy driving Texas. You're watching Fox Sports Net. Four games to three. Andy Roddick up now in the first set here at the U.S. Men's Clay Courts. Well, Andre Agassi's been here in Houston a couple times, but here was a great moment. Agassi with the Yao Ming. This was before Yao became a Houston Rocket, but, you know, everybody's short compared to that guy. Yeah, Agassi just under six feet, but yeah. looking pretty small <laughs> next to that man. Oh! Yao Ming. 4 3 now. Roddick up. Oh, no call. Andre having a look at it. Hit right on the line. These lines imported as well. Very similar. In fact, identical to the tiles that you'll see at the Roland Garros facility in Paris. Not long from now, about a month from now, the French Open. Missing again with that two-hander. His ninth unforced error of the match. Oh, big chance here for Roddick. 3-4, love 30. Oh, another error off 
the forehand. And now a huge opportunity for Andy Roddick. Three break points. What do you think, Lee? If he just keeps the ball in play here as we with his coach. the set he now leads 5-3 and will serve for the first set yeah, and what a time for it and I think a key there was that Roddick was able to play with the new tennis balls they changed new balls and the balls really flew yeah, so out here in the breeze good he point Leaf. yeah took some big swings and the ball really really took off and you can see he has yet to win a set so this is a big step for Roddick right here this service game Go long. And that's a good example of how when you play with new tennis balls, if you're not careful, the ball can float on you. That time, that underspin backhand just floated on Roddick. Change after seven games and then nine after that. Open court. Roddick rolls the forehand. And now Andy Roddick three points away from the first set he has won against Andre Agassi. That's a nice combination from Roddick. Big heavy serve, backing it up with a heavy forehand. over the baseline that ball hit the top of the net leave he had the winner yeah, and that, oh. that tells you something about how the ball is moving through the air here I mean this is a pretty good approach from Agassi and look at this I mean he hit that so hard it carried over the baseline man that was close I think Andre thought for a moment he was in big trouble look right back with ace number eight and now Andy Roddick at set point First set in the three meetings prior that they have had. Well, Andre Agassi has had some wonderful moments in his illustrious career, and we had a chance to catch up with him. And here are some moments from Andre Agassi. Uh, just a dream come true my first Grand Slam. Uh, three Slam Finals before I finally won. I uh, was favoring all my Slam Finals except that one, so it was one of those that uh, sort of surprised me in a way that it's like a dream coming true. I remember the story that goes along with it, which is where I was going into it, you know, and it's been a long year. I'd come off wrist surgery. Um, about a year earlier, a little bit less, and, and it wasn't a great year, but I started getting my game together and was unseated and went through the field there. It was an uh, incredible, incredible feeling. Well, playing Pete and playing Rafter down there were some of the most memorable matches I've ever had. Um, 95 against Pete in the finals down there, uh, 2000 with Rafter and Pete, 2001, it's you know, you'll, you'll never forget th those moments. That was the best. I mean, for me, it doesn't get better than winning that, the one you never won. And um, uh, yeah, I had been in the finals uh, 10 years earlier, two times in a row, and 
waited a long time for that and come back from two sets of love. I'll never, never forget that day. Well, a big moment last night, Leap, as he became again the number one player in the world, and they gave him about a five-minute standing ovation here. Very impressive. Yeah, he's a special player, and every time he takes the court these days, he, he's creating more special moments. I mean, this is our greatest attraction in tennis right here. This is the man that we all come to see. His work is cut out for him today on the red clay here in Houston, which is imported from one of his favorite venues, Roland Garros in Paris. And now Agassi down a set. Roddick trying to wrap up his third consecutive U.S. clay court title here in Houston. He is undefeated. Roddick is right here. Best serves down the center. 15 all. Uh, and as great a player as Roddick is on the court, excuse me, Agassi is on the court. He's even a better citizen off it. He's doing so many great things, not only for the city of Las Vegas, but for the young people there. He always seems to have time, doesn't he? It's really, really uh, great for the game. He's having more trouble with that two-hander today, Leaf, than we've seen him all year long. Yeah, I, I wonder whether, you know, he's just had a little hangover from the euphoria of last night. You know, he clinches the number one. You can see his focus is just not as tight as it was in the previous few matches. That's and wide again. Unable to pull the trigger. He's playing very smart right now. Andy Roddick just keeping that ball in play, not trying to do too much with it. Great point, Roddick. First game, second set. That will go long, and Agassi loses his serve in the opening game of the second set. Roddick with the break. have done pretty well coming into this event late. Here's a look at them in the top 100. Yeah, we had four in the quarterfinals. Agassi and Roddick, the only ones getting through. Blake, Marty Fish, unable to advance, but certainly strong representation. Americans in the top 100. Taylor Dent there at 39. He's going to move up this year. Played some brilliant tennis. It's a big hand as he moves over to serve with the break and with a set. Fault number two. Well, Roddick has avoided that kind of trouble. That's yeah. how he got into trouble in the semifinals against the Frenchman, Moutiz. Oh. And Agassi unable to get around that second serve. And that tells you something about how tough is on that second delivery. Here is Jerry Roddick. He's dead. We go long. Right, Jerry and Blanche Roddick celebrated their 37th wedding anniversary this week. So, big week for the Roddick family. good ping pong player I'll tell you we've watched her a couple times in there with Andy it's the short ball knocks it off a point away from a two love lead here and you can 
seat, even Agassi is really struggling with the serving from Roddick. That ball is just ricocheting off the deck here. He leads to love in the second set. On the next Beyond the Glory, Nick Van Exel used his tough childhood as motivation to excel on the basketball court. But his professional career has been filled with controversy. Nick Van Exel, Beyond the Glory, tonight at 8 p.m., right here on Fox Sports Net. Wow. He's really having trouble now. Fairly easy forehand into the middle of the net. And love 15. He's already down a set and a bust. He doesn't want to go down a second break of serve. You can see how the struggles oh. have come for Andre Agassi. 12 off that backhand alone. Triple break point, third game, second set. not having much luck off the ground so he changes things up just undercutting that ball perfectly at the last second it's a smart play you know I mean nothing else is working right now why not try the drop shot and it worked that's good yes, just inside that sideline and legacy stays alive now this third game, but still break point for Roddy. Well, this is the kind of situation where if Agassi can survive this, he can maybe mount a charge. And he does right there, Leaf, at least to get to Deuce. Three great points from Agassi. Yeah, you backing up the serve beautifully with some forehand pressure. Bread and butter play from Agassi. That's good. Right in the corner. And from Love 40 down, Agassi now with a chance to hold. Now this forehand he finds the range on. Nice short back swing. Perfectly placed. And there it is. Agassi gets out of trouble. A huge hand for the number one player here in Houston. Here in Houston, Andy Roddick taking on the great Pete Sampras. 14 Grand Slam titles for Sampras. It was a very tight first set. Look at Sampras, Lee. He was tough. Yeah, Sampras played so strongly throughout that entire week, including beating Agassi in the semifinal. But Roddick came roaring back, and it was all Andy Roddick after that. And he beat Pete Sampras in straight sets. For his second title here in Houston, he is undefeated on this center court. Back live now, over 5,000 packed into this beautiful stadium called the Wood Forest. 
Stadium court, 15 love. Oh, miss hit off that backhand. And you can see Agassi struggling just a little bit with that heavy topspin off erotic ground strokes. He's just unable to time those backhands right. 27th unforced error for Agassi. Only six winners. Now to 40 love. Big high bouncer. No. Oh, a risky little drop shot. Fairly routine shot, but does not work. Now look at that high bouncer. Look at the way Agassi handles this shot. And Roddick had plenty of time, but elected to go for the drop shot. Still game point. That will go long. And so Roddick holds 3-1, second set. The Best Damn Sports Show period presents the 24th Annual Sports Emmy Awards. Join host Joe Buck with special appearances by Michael Strahan, Hall of Famers Dr. J, Don Shula, and many more. The 24th Annual Sports Emmy Awards tonight, following tennis on the East Coast and everywhere else at 6 p.m. local on Fox Sports Net. been that element of control that you really seem to count on when you watch Andre Agassi, but he just hasn't been able to really keep the ball where he wants it. Agassi with his first ace of the match. Big twister. High bouncer out wide. 30 low. Close as Roddick has a look over there, yeah. You can see that one spin off. And that's a tough call just to get back into play, much less take a full swing off him. Skids off the line. Well, he's down 40 love. Why not go for it? Yeah, he's, he's improving that backhand. I mean, he takes this early. A short backswing. Number two out wide, and so Agassi hangs in. Roddick up 3 2, second set. Andy, Andre, we love you both. Boy, that's a that's quite a spot there. And there are a lot of signs around the grounds here. I'll tell you, this is an active group of tennis enthusiasts in Houston. They come early and stay late. Well, one of the few times this match where Agassi has gotten ahead on the Roddick surf. It's true. Well, that third game when Roddick could have gone up three love. Come back to haunt him here. Second serve, love 15. No. Roddick with another error off the big forehand, and now this crowd. Gets behind Agassi. They want him back in this match. Up 30. I knew he was going to go for a big one. 134 miles per hour. It's a fault. Big opening there. 
Catches the net once again. Now at this point, looming large here. Yeah. As he gets it, he's got a couple break points. Chance now on the second serve. Pulls it wide. Boy, right on the line, that second Here serve. Go. Can't hit it better than that. Maybe the best second serve Roddick has hit all day. And a great time for it, down 15-30. 30 all. Oh, curl right down the center. Yeah, smart play from Roddick. You know, he took some pace off that. You know, he just said, okay, yep. I'm going to put this one in the box. Ninth ace of the match. That's wide. Didn't miss by much. Oh! No. Erotic two hander goes long. <laughs> We're in Houston, Texas at the Westside Tennis Club championship match of the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. I'm Barry McKay along with Lee Shires. Bringing you the action is Andre Agassi. Down a set now to Andy Roddick and down 3-2. The second set. Okay. Yeah, he puts that ball away cross court. Well, a great effort from Agassi just to get the serve back into play. And boy, now he comes up with some real magic. That's a tough shot to make that ball curl down on the way. And here's the finisher coming right at us. The fall now, a big chance for Agassi. You will hear a roar if Agassi wins this point. And he does. And his crowd on its feet. Agassi is roaring back in his second set. Yeah, and really the first moments where Agassi has, you know, stepped up yeah. his level of play. I mean, he was down a set and a break. And he sensed he had to come up with something big, and he delivered. Three games all, second set. You know, but that's the nature of a great champion. You know, they expect to win. Uh, and they're going to figure out a way to get that done. Every time they step on the court, here is Agassi. And to play his way back into this match. And that great running forehand lead that set up that passing shot, maybe the best shot he's hit all week long, under pressure. Second serve now, seventh game, second set. Champions need a little boost of confidence and just getting that break back. You can see it in Agassi's length off the ground. All of a sudden, the backhand looking good. Wow, Roddick gets into another one of those two handers down the line. Like you said, Leaf, that's becoming one of his weapons. Perfect execution. Again, good foundation with the legs. Good strong hit in the hands. The high bouncing twist serve. Deep to that two-hander. Yeah, it's almost a second serve. Yeah. And that's why it's so important that you serve with variety. Don't deliver the same serve every time. Baseline. Did you say he took a little chance with that <laughs> return? <laughs> he cracked it. Puts away the overhead, and Agassi 
three, second set. Stay with us for the U.S. men's clay courts. Come on, Andy. Come on. Andre Agassi up now 4-3 in the second set. He lost the first to Andy Roddick here in Houston around the world over in Barcelona. Carlos Moya winning it over Murat and Leaf and very interesting result there. Yeah, it was. And Moya's been playing some great tennis this season. He's really showing that he is back where he used to be back in 2000 when he got to number one in the world. So Moya, a real threat with the clay court season looming. And the Bryan twins are over in Barcelona. We saw their dad today, Wayne Bryan. The Bryans won the doubles over there. Number two team in the world. They're making great progress. Yeah, and the, their 10th victory surpassed Tim and Tom Gullickson as the brothers team that have won the most titles. They're working on it. Chance now for Agassi, who was down two love and almost down three love to Roddick. Here he is up 4 3 and with a chance to break. Love 15. Drop shot. It's good. Agassi scrambles up makes the play and makes a good shot up the line. That's right, and that's why you scramble. You put your opponent in a position, hey, can you win the point? And I'll tell you, this is a, a great actor, Chuck Norris. And I would think that would be today. He's Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> he is in Texas. Agassi again, a brilliant shot cross court off that forehand. Well, it is just so tough to attack Andre Agassi. And you're never sure which side to go into. He was missing the forehand earlier, but that time he ripped it cross court. Now three big chances. Triple break point. It's going to go wide. And Agassi breaks at love. Unbelievable comeback from two. Love down, and now Agassi will serve for the second set. Well, we talked how Roddick was up 6-3, 2-0, and then had Love 40. Three break points on Agassi to go up 6-3, 3-0. Two breaks. When he didn't capitalize there, I think Agassi sensed he still had a chance. Boy, is he taking full advantage. Four straight games now. And Agassi, six out of six when he gets up to net. And he has only won one of eight times. A very telling stat. see right now as opposed to like six games ago he's hitting with authority a lot of pace depth yeah, no he's errors he's <laughs> just tightened up his focus and he's just seeing the ball hitting it a little bit better even great players have to find their rhythm and he has found it <laughs> go along. now I guess he two points away 30 love Henry has won the last seven points in a row Australian, his coach, who has done wonders this year. Ace number three. And now Agassi at set point. The high bounce and a little skip from Agassi as he holds at love. We are dead even here in Houston. Agassi has evened this match. When we come back, we'll play one set for the title. Andre Agassi has come back to even this match at a set apiece here in Houston. Well, Sunday night at the start of this event, some fun out here in Houston as Andy Roddick playing with the great basketball Clyde Drexler. And there's Dr. Phil with Andre Agassi. Here's Clyde Drexler. Not a bad looking motion on that serve, Lee. That's right, Clyde Drexler, a man who plays his tennis here at the West Side Tennis Club. Doctor. Former Houston Rocket. And uh, check out this volley from the man that oh, called yes. Clyde. And Drexler puts one away on Agassi. And so Dr. Phil and Agassi having a good time on center court. This yeah. all happened 
last Sunday night. I wonder if Andre asked Dr. Phil some advice on how to handle uh, Steffi in regards to that uh, mixed doubles over in Paris. Yeah, that, those are, that's a tender subject, <laughs> when I understand that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he's making much progress. No, he... Third set now, first game here. Yeah. A few errors creeping into that forehand. Uh, after winning the Australian Open, and I guess he said, well, you know, perhaps I'll get uh, you know, my wife Steffi out to play mixed doubles at the French. Well, I'm not sure that was too well received back at the home front. Steffi, so far unwilling to commit to playing mixed doubles. Well, he said he's making progress. She just ignores him now. <laughs> on the pass. I mean, he set this up perfectly. He's got the open spot, just pulls it into the alley. He's got the ball on a string right now. His first point, Roddick has won on his own serve. He lost eight in a row. No, fall. so tough on this court. He's undefeated, 16 and 0 here. The ball just caroms so high off the clay when he winds up and plays with that heavy topspin. A little bit of wind now coming from behind Roddick. Gave him a good shot at that last ball. Version there from Roddick. I've never seen him play so many backhands so confidently down the line. Looking good. I think this is a crucial game to Leaf. He's kind of lost the momentum Roddick has. He needs to get back on track right here. That'll go wide. And so Roddick holds in the first game of the final set. Roddick one low. Uh, and earlier today, the men's doubles was decided. They played it before the singles final. And there is the doubles champion, Mark Knowles and Daniel Nestor. Mark Knowles out of Canada. Excuse me, out of the Bermuda. And Daniel Nestor out of Canada. So the clay court champions, and they earned a nice check as well. It's a good atmosphere too, Leaf. You know, I walked in here a couple hours before this championship singles, and the place was packed, all coming out to watch that doubles. I think most of the people in the stands, and I hope a lot of our viewers, are doubles players. That's right. One low, Roddick. Final set. If you look at some of the great tennis cities in this country, Houston is certainly one of them. Atlanta is another. Los Angeles is a big tennis town, as is most of Southern California. But certainly this city really supports its tennis, and obviously this week, evidence of it. off that forehand. from Agassi. Yeah, Agassi really working his magic, forcing Roddick into some awkward situations. That was great 
deception from Agassi. Roddick thought he was going to go back to the backhand side, and at the last moment, he drags that forehand cross court. 40-15. Tricky shot. And there really is a talent to moving on a clay tennis court. You really have to move on top of the surface. There's so much loose material that it's a quite a slippery surface. So you have to work your feet so hard to get yourself to the hit. <laughs> so Agassi levels things at one game all. And don't forget the 24th Annual Sports Emmy Awards tonight following tennis on the East Coast and everywhere else at 6 p.m. local on Fox Sports Net. Johnson, the pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks, offered $55,000 for a tennis lesson from Andre Agassi. No kidding. Yeah, and the money would go to the Andre Agassi Foundation. I'll tell you, people want to know the secrets that he has, because he is certainly doing some great things. Great gesture from Randy Johnson, it's a future Hall of Famer. It's about three innings of work for <laughs> Randy, isn't it? <laughs> Ten days. Hit. We'll go long. And Roddick coming back to life here early in the third. 40. Yes, Andy. And Roddick up again with a 124 miles per hour. Andy Roddick, 2 1, final set. We are in Houston at the Westside Tennis Club. A bit of a warm day here, 88 on that courtside thermometer. These folks very coolly dressed. Not an empty seat in the house. Over 5,000 here, and they'll have a lot more this fall for the Masters Cup, which is going to be hosted right here by Jim McInvale and the entire crew. They're going to build a brand new stadium right on this site. It'll be a hard court. And then November 8th through the 16th, the top eight players in the world will arrive in Houston. But that's a long way from now. The number one player happens to be right here. Agassi down love 15. And down 1-2. right there yeah that really was great variety from Roddick I think he's played such a smart match himself he is throwing everything he can at Agassi to try and disrupt the world number one's rhythm and it's been working he's worked hard to do it he looks fit 15 all now 30 15 fourth game final set Andre Agassi up 40 15 we're in Houston Texas at the West Side Tennis Club bringing you championship action on the US men's clay courts 
legacy, losing the first set to Andy Roddick, coming back to win the second 6-3, and now at game point to try and get to two all in the final set. And Roddick says, I cannot get to that ball. Beautiful disguise, Leaf, on that drop shot from Agassiz. Yeah, th that's a virtuoso performance right there. Look at that, just cutting underneath it. Oh. Just opened the club face on that sand wedge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> slid underneath it perfectly. Two games all, final set. Oh. That was called a fault by Norm Christ in the chair. Let's listen. It looks like there is a mark showing that it was indeed out. Yep. Andre points to the mark. Agassi accepts it quickly. Chris, one of the true experienced umpires up there. Yes. All set up with a drop shot again. Yeah, this not able to do enough with this shot. You can see Agassi's in position. I tell you, when he gets his feet set, mm. he's got to be on the move, ready to react. He has another quick look at that ball okay. down the middle. Ace number 11 for Roddick. See why Roddick is so tough on this court. I mean, that ball just shooting through so quickly. Not an ace, but unreturnable at 131 miles per hour. just at the moment Agassi hit that lob. Uh, again, attacking cross court is a little bit dangerous here. You can see he's got the full length of the court to lob into. Wow. That is a big overhead, isn't it? Oh. And he just hammered it. Strong going back to that. Used his legs well. You see with the deep return catches Roddick. You know, this is getting good. You just sense that in the final set, both guys are playing well. You know, Agassi did not play well in the second. Roddick stuff struggled in the second. Now both are going at it toe to toe. It's a fault. court goes for a little too much and now Agassi at break point let and a fault break stay with us we're in Houston West Side Tennis Club championship match the last point of that last game watch the drop shot from Agassi it is absolutely perfect in about a foot square just inside the net to give him the break lead. Yeah, and Roddick was on the baseline <laughs> he yeah. still got beat by it it was that good a shot so now Agassi with a break in the final set, up 3-2. Suddenly somebody has run out to the umpire's chair. Talk to Norm Christ. Not sure what that's about, Leaf. Maybe we'll find out briefly. It was the side linesman. Look at the winners and errors. Just 
just over the baseline from Roddick. No, that was a bit of bad luck for Roddick. You know, he hit that forehand so well, and he played such a good point. Quality of tennis is it, definitely coming on now. Oh, yeah, these guys are really going at it. He's a little bit far back behind the baseline, but, you know, that's a shot he, he can make. tonight following tennis on the East Coast and everywhere else at 6 p.m. local on Fox Sports Day. Legacy 30 love. Just missing wide. Spins it out there 94 miles per hour. Nice change up on that second serve. I think Roddy thought he was going forehand again, Lee. Yeah, that was just a great second serve from Agassi. Not much you can do. Now game point for Andre to go up 4-2 in this final set. He's maintained his composure so well today. Mm. And there it is. Agassi holds at love. And now Andre Agassi two games away from this title. I mean, this, is this guy the consummate pro or what? Down a set and a break down other break points to go down two breaks yeah. and he just hung tough he just kept doing what he does you can't say enough about him former so, president bush there leaning into this match now a little bit what is his secret how does he do it <laughs> he's a tennis fan he was here early yeah, well, president bush you know, a good friend of pam shriver i know pam shriver used to come to the white house and play a lot of tennis yeah. Bjorn borg as well we saw him playing tennis with Chris Everett up at Newport a couple years ago. That was quite a sight. He, he's not a bad player. Loves the game. Yeah. I guess he just lifts that two-hander now into the open court. And now Andre with a big opportunity. Love 30. Yeah, the cross court gave him a chance for that opening there. timing on that lob yeah, and Roddick sensed that he had to create something he wasn't having any luck hitting from the back so he tried the drop shot and that is just a superb <laughs> top spin lob big point too could have been down love 40 oh. who has not had many errors off that forehand side in this third set 30 all. Oh, what a second serve that was. Right on the center line. And it bounced about 12, 15 feet up in the air. game. Stay with us. 4-3 Agassi, final set. 4-3 Andre Agassi, final set. And Leaf, I'll tell you something, this has been a topsy-turvy match. Two love in that second set. Roddick almost had it put away. Yeah, big chances for Roddick. And I think Agassi really just not getting out of the blocks. I think last night when he secured the number one ranking, a very emotional moment for him. And I think it took him a while to find his feet here underneath him. All right, I'm going to put you on the spot, my old buddy. What, what do you think? Who's going to win this match right now? Well, I, I think Agassi's such a great front runner. I just feel like he's got it to close out now. 4-3 Agassi with the break. Final set. Court. Both players using the whole court. 
Crown eats it up. Yeah, this, this match is only getting better every point we play. And here's Agassi trying to play something short. He's had success, but that time Roddick, the approach shot was too good. Very deep in the court. Love 15. Big points now. Final set. Left first serve. Agassi will have two. to show great composure. I mean, he's just playing some very solid points right here. He's worked the point well. Now he's got the short ball. And he's able to hurt Agassi with the forehand. Look at the preparation. Nice little turn and the whip. Now this crowd pulling for Roddick to get the break and even this match. Love 30. Agassi, when he needs it out wide, the spinner. That was a slider. A slider. And really took off. Well, that had plenty of curve on it. He hit the court and just coursed out wide. 15 30. <laughs> Too good. Inside out forehand. Perfect shot. You know, that's always been Agassi's bread and butter. Really, he set the standard for what 21st century tennis is all about. That forehand inside out, ripped with power. From love 30 down, Agassi brings it even. 30 all. long just over that baseline yeah Roddick just has not had enough luck here in the last set it was a good aggressive return he just overhit it and the ball carried over the baseline oh, wow. this is a big point for him he's got to get back even here big serve short return no catches Roddick over hits it Agassi from Love, 30 down. Hold, sir. Now Agassi one game away from the title. Well, what a recovery from Agassi. He was in a bit of crisis there, down Love, 30. But again, his serve helped get him back into it by setting up the ground strokes. Clutch tennis from the world's best. Just wide. Superb shots from both players just inside that sideline. Safe call out there from the linesman. Now that is just sublime, oh. isn't it? Look at this shot up the line. Oh, wow. Baseline to baseline. Oh. That's wide. Yeah. Wow, came with a huge second serve. Ace is 12th of the match. Huge 
good, but he got his racket on that. Not a clean ace, but unreturnable. Game point. Stay with us when we return. Agassi serves for the title. Houston, Texas, the West Side Tennis Club as Andre Agassi, who regained the number one spot in the world last night, now serves for the title here. He was down a set and down two love and one point away from being down three love here. He now serves for the U.S. Clay Court Championship against Andy Roddick, who has never lost a match here in Houston. Goes long, Agassi three points away, 15 love. Oh. High bouncer, and now 30 love. Yeah, in, in that situation, it takes so much composure because you want to just step up there and bust an ace. And instead, yeah. Agassi throws in that nice curveball, high bouncing, very smart serve. And he goes wide with his fourth ace of the match, and what a time for it. Takes him to triple championship point. That is incredible leap. Talk about mixing it up. Missed up wide and went for it 110 miles per hour. And Agassi with a second serve ace has done it. <laughs> Tremendous comeback from a set down. Derek Cahill, his coach. A standing O for Andre. The traditional four bows with kisses to this great audience here in Houston. the champion of the U.S. Clay Court Champions here from the West Side Tennis Club. He has done it. He's the number one player in the world, and we'll talk to him when we return to Houston. Agassi, the winner. The U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships on Fox Sports Net, brought to you by Wood Forest National Bank, or bank for your buck. By Simmons Beauty Rest, giving you better sleep through science. By the Tennis Masters Cup, taking place right here at the West Side Tennis Club in Houston, Texas. And by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. Well, Andre Agassi, the winner here in Houston. Final score, 3-6, three, 6-3, six, six, three, and 6-4. Six, Let's go down with Lee Shiras, who has the runner-up. Lee? Thank you, Barry. Andy, you've got another fan here, obviously. Hey. Congratulations on a great final. Boy, you had some chances there in the second. Uh, all of a sudden, Andre just seemed to turn it on. Yeah, I uh, had him on the ropes a little bit, but you know the reason he's the best player in the world is because he can come up with uh, you know, a drop shot winner on the run down the line and uh, just crank out on the forehand when he hadn't been hitting it well all day. So uh, you know, it's just uh, I, I had to take my chances, but he came up big. Well, I really feel like watching you play your game is growing in so many ways. Do you feel like even though you went down today, th this was a big step for you? Well, it's the closest I've ever come against Andre. He didn't totally wipe my clock this time. So. <laughs> well, this court has been very good to you, and uh, it's certainly given you a boost going into the rest of the clay court season. What are your, uh, what are your aspirations going into the, the rest of the season? Yeah, I was playing pretty badly when I came here, and uh, I was able to win a couple matches just like last year. And, um, you know, this is definitely a great stepping stone for American players going over to Europe, and uh, I, I can't wait to come back for many years. Andy, it was a great day for American tennis. Thank you. Andre, 
Andre. Man, this has been a special week for you. I have to tell you, you were on the ropes, down a set and a bust, and points to go down two breaks. How did you Houdini this one? Yeah, I don't know. I'm still a bit numb, to be quite honest. Uh, uh, you know, Andy kept me from being comfortable out here for most of the match. And uh, uh, early in the second set, I was, I was, like you said, I was down some big points, which would have given him plenty enough to close out the match. But sometimes you just rather be lucky, you know, <laughs> and today was a little bit of that. We were the consummate pro. You kept it together, and uh, you put in so much work off court. And it seems to show so much when you're on court. Well, you have to. I mean, really, if you're not going forward, you're going backwards. And I, I, especially at this age, I got to make sure my body's feeling good and strong. But I got to come out here, and I got to make somebody earn it against me. And today, I was just hanging on, and things happened to uh, fall right for me. Any sense of perspective when you, you won your first clay court championship in 88? Roddick was five years old. <laughs> 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 you had to go and say something like that, huh? Uh, you know, I've, I've always said uh, inside these lines there's no such thing as, uh, as age. It doesn't matter. I don't see it. I don't. When, when, I look at, when I look across the net and see Andy over there, I, I think of myself as either being 22 or him as being 32. Either way, we're... We're, we're both out here trying to, trying to get the job done and uh, had a good one today. Well, you, you move and you're as strong as a 22-year-old. This has to give you a boost again, go into the clay court season. You're going to lead the Americans over into Europe and the clay. What are your aspirations there? Well, looks can be deceiving, you know. I, <laughs> I put off a good bluff out here. Uh, no, you know, uh, this is a great way to get the clay season started. I mean, for me, it's a different chapter going from hard court to clay. You know, you, no matter how well you play at the start of the year, you got to adjust your game, adjust everything, and, and prove yourself out here on the dirt, because there's a lot of different aspects of the game that uh, you have to get ready for. And, and this is just a great week for me to do that. I feel like I played five real great matches, and uh, now we head over and start playing the bigger ones. So hopefully I'll play as well as I did here. Andre, congratulations. A special week for you. Thanks so much, Lee. Thanks. All right, Barry, back up to you. All right, a very happy Andre Agassi. We'll be back with more. And don't forget the 24th.